Hello Watcher and welcome to part 2 of my Lara Croft painting. Last time we took off we had the grayscale sketch as you see now and I'm still um, correcting some stuff but shortly we will go on to coloring because this time I wanted to have the colors in at a very early state because if you work with the grayscale you and put in the colors at the end um, I have the problem that the image is already finished near finished and I and I'm afraid to change stuff so if I color in stuff from the beginning then it's in in the process of um, changing and I think this will um, give me a better understanding of coloring as I work with it more as I'm using not gray scales anymore but but the um, the colors instead and yeah I, I will be able to play around with the colors more so you see now at the end if I had colored this at the end like this um, the colors are very flat and now when I put them in before shading I think they I can make them more livid and add in um, different colors because um, although one might think that um, an object has one color it normally has not and it's very dependent on the surrounding and the reflective the way it reflects is also dependent on the material so many things to consider and I'm very new to this so I have I have the theory somehow but um, I it 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 is not fluid yet not not very much so I hope I can improve with this picture a lot so um, the good thing with the digital painting as you saw now was even though I had some anatomical errors like I suddenly found out that the arm is way too long you can still s change that relatively easily and especially if you're painting and not doing line art because everything is is always a bit um, more washed out more, the contour is not so strong so if you move something around and some things overlay it doesn't it doesn't look so wrong as if you have a very clean picture if you change something and it doesn't fit perfectly the viewer will instantly uh, see that there's something wrong but if everything is a bit wrong and a bit off it um, it becomes a style so it's okay then I guess so doing painting is I in my opinion much easier than doing the contour stuff and yeah what I did there was very important I checked the hotkeys to in and decrease my brush size and with that I'm getting way better because before changing the brush size is, is a very big pain because you when you have the graphic um, pen and you try to change it with the menu you get stuck on on the board or you put it in the wrong direction so it's very difficult but now I can do it with with a hotkey and this is much better uh, I painted for a very long time and you see a big jump soon between my recordings and where I am right now because I simply forgot to record the last well, I guess half an hour or maybe an hour of my painting so I'm sorry for that but um, I'm quite happy with the colors now um, because they're getting more and more um, vivid I would say mainly because I changed the color range you see now and yes that was it for this commentary so please tune in for the next one and see you bye